Hi y'all, it's Sky, and thanks for visiting my channel. Welcome to another Diamond Art Club Black Friday sneak peek. This is the only round drill kit that I got for the Black Friday releases, so I'm very excited to take a look. This kit is Under the Sea by Sarah Mustafa. Oh my goodness. This image is gorgeous. So I already told you it's round drill. We've got the pink circle there and the pink theming of the box. On the back, we've got some how diamond painting works information and the kit contents. Here on the side, we have got a coupon code for 10% off. And let me remove this plastic and we will check out what's in the box. Okay, plastic is off. And before we open up the box, I just want to say a very big thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending me this kit. And I also want to tell you the release information. So this one's going to be a little different than usual because this is a Black Friday release. So this is going to release on Friday, November the 25th. That will be at 12 a.m. Pacific time for Diamond Level members. And then 6 a.m. Pacific time, that will be the general access release. So convert that to your time zone. If you're in the central time zone, that's going to be 2 a.m. for the diamond level release and then 8 a.m. for the general access. But just Google a little uh, time zone conversion calculator and you can enter in your time zone and the Pacific time zone and it will convert that for you so you'll know exactly what time to be ready. And let's go ahead and open this box. I know you guys can probably hear Nugget snoring in the background, but it's actually a little bit late right now and I didn't want to wake him up. He has gone to sleep for the night, so I... Hope you don't mind a little, a little snorting back there. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out there was the toolkit. And this is the newer style toolkit. So the older style just comes in a different bag and you still have everything that you need to get started diamond painting. But this is the newer style toolkit and we will look at what has come in it in just a minute. Also, I pulled out this smaller sticker. It just has the image on there, this gorgeous image, and some information about the kit. A lot of people will stick this on the side or the bottom of their box just to help them in their storage situation. Sometimes it's kind of hard to identify which kit it is depending on how you've stacked them. So this can help you to identify them a little bit easier. Uh, some people I've seen make uh, cover minders out of these. So plenty of cool things to do. You can put them in a log book or you can do like I do and store them all and wait until you think of something creative to do. Okay, let me open up this toolkit and we will check out what's inside. Okay, here is what was in the toolkit. So starting off, we've got a bag of baggies for kitting up or storage. We have got multi-placers. So this is a seven and a four placer. Then we have got a diamond painting pin with a little grippy or squishy to slide over the end there. I have not seen an orange one, I don't think. I'm really liking this color. Very, very bright and cheery. And then we've also got our red heart waxes in this cute container with a lid. And we have got a diamond painting tray with a stopper so your drills don't slide out of there. And then my favorite part, <laughs> we've got, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, this might be my favorite one that I've ever gotten. Oh, that washi is beautiful. Okay, okay, I, I won't I won't gush it's too long. I can just I can look at this later. But the washi is typically used around the edges of your canvas, just on that sticky little edge, just to keep sleeve fuzzies and dust off of it. Or you can also use it to section off. I am telling you guys, my goodness, that is gorgeous. Okay. Also, 
we've got a cover minder, a cute little paw print. So a cover minder has two magnets on the back. You just separate them just like that and put the bottom one underneath your canvas and then fold the plastic cover back. And then you can just put this right on top and they will snap together just like that. It'll hold that plastic out of the way while you work. Okay, now we are ready to open this bag, which I, I ripped it again. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll open one perfectly, but most of the time I rip that bag. It's really not that hard to not rip it, but whatever. <laughs> I can't seem to master it. Okay, let's see if we can get all of these things to come out. Let's take a look at these drills. Look at those pretty blues. Oh, I love this. Is that an AB? I'm not sure. I think it is, but we're going to go through these one by one in a few minutes. Oh, but I just love to look at them all together when they're packaged up so nicely. I'll never get them back in this package so well. And I do want to point out that there is a label on the drill packaging. It gives you the title of the kit. So your canvas is also going to have the title on there. You can match these two up if you store your drills and your canvas separately. I do store them separately, so it's very, very helpful, I assure you. Also, we've got this thank you booklet. Got some QR code. Well, I would love to show you. Okay, there we go. It's got some QR codes inside that you can scan. This one will take you to a video on how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group. Highly recommend that. We've got a coupon code. And then on the back, you've got QR codes to take you to the Diamond Art Club app. Then we've also got this larger sticker sheet where we can look at this image even bigger and it's still beautiful. So this has the same information as that smaller sticker we looked at, but it also includes a start and end date so you can track your progress. This would be great for a log book. You can just put this whole sheet in the log book. And down here we have the dimensions of the kit. So this is 55.8 centimeters by 73.7 centimeters or 22 by 29 inches. Gosh, she is just, Gorgeous, isn't she? Okay, over here we can see that we have 57 colors and these stickers peel off individually. So you can use them when you're kitting up, just stick each one on the container that goes with the drill color. It makes kitting up very, very simple. And let's see how many ABs we have. So any color code under 150 is going to be an AB. So it looks like we have four, and we will see what those are later. Now, let's take a look. I think I'm going to have to do some readjusting because this one's gonna wanna face this way. Oh my gosh, look how pretty. I'm gonna start rolling it back up at the bottom so that you can see all the way up, but I will adjust the camera. Oh, that tail and the jellyfish. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to flip this over and roll it backwards just to get it to flatten out a little bit. So it's not gonna hurt this canvas for me to do that. It's a poured glue canvas, so it's gonna be just fine. Also, Diamond Art Club canvases will lay flat in just a few minutes if you don't do anything. But just for the purposes of looking at it right now, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it and also readjust the camera so you can see it better. Okay, you can see it's laying a little flatter now and also that I still wasn't able to get it all in the frame. But, oh, I, I really love the tail. I, I really like the colors. Hang on, I'm gonna roll it all the way up here. Look how many different colors are in there. I did not expect that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and find a way to get this all in one frame just give you like an overhead view of it so that you can see it all at once. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, this one is just really a stunner. There's just, like so much going on in this scene and every bit of it is beautiful. Like look at this flowy hair, all those jellyfish. As this is just so pretty. <laughs> okay, I'll stop gushing. Next, we are going to look at the drills. We are going to go through these one by one. So if you don't like this part, I will try to have a timestamp or a chapter down below so that you can skip to the part where we look at where the ABs go. We have two bags of 311, a 356, two bags of 3842, two bags of 3846, and two bags of 3811. 564, 824, 747, two bags, 336, 3778, two bags of 825, 122. Okay, this is our first AB. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these drills just have a special coating on them that reflect the light a little different than a regular drill, and it's so pretty. I hope that's picking out where you can see. Here is the sparkle on a regular drill. You can see it's very sparkly, but these just pick up the light in a special way. Oh, it's so pretty. And then we have 3857 and 3750, 3845, 141. So this is our second AB, this white one. I think this picks up a little better and you can see how these shine. And then on the end here, we have 3844, 932, 913, 819, 892, 114. So this is our next AB, this pretty red. I love that. 931, 699, 3608, 3707, 352, 958, 3776, 3799, 702, 402, 436, 415, 3818, 517, 951, 762, 318, 209, 3856, 414, 434, 435, 945, 799, 437, 3816, 930, 3841, 129. So that's our last AB. What a pretty yellow. I love that one. And then 353. Okay, we are done with drills. So if you've skipped here, welcome back. We are going to look at where these ABs go. So I've separated them from their strands. I'll let you get a good look at all of them. Very pretty. But the first one we are going to start with is this red one, this 114. So this is symbol number one. And one thing I've noticed just glancing over this canvas is that the ABs are dispersed everywhere. There is like pretty much all of the ABs are all over the canvas. So for that red AB, we will just start down here at the bottom. You can see those ones. I think the red is going to be the easiest for me to point out 
to you guys. You see those ones? It goes up her arm here. And then these bubbles beside her face. There's some more outlining there, traveling up. And then there's these fish that are swimming beside her. There's tons of red there. And like you can see, it's, it's just dotted throughout. Just tons of places. I think we will travel this way and <laughs> show you what is in her hair. So there, oops, sorry, a bunch. There is some there in her hair as well. And then over here with these fishies that are following her or swimming with her. I don't know if they're following her. Maybe they're doing their own thing, but there is red AB in those. And then I, Nugget is really cutting up. I'm afraid I'm going to have to put him out of here. <laughs> he is really snoring over there, but we can see these ABs traveling up right there. I don't know if I already showed you these ones. I guess this still counts as hair, but this it's more like tail area. And then you can see those bright reds traveling through the tail. <laughs> After the red one, I'll I'll get I'll wake him up. Let's see if oh there is some more up here in the very tip of the tail. Right there and over here. Let's see, is there any more? There's so much. It didn't seem like that big of a bag, but it is all over. I think, I think that I found most, if not all, of it. Oh, look over here. I didn't show you these. Just some little dots. Okay, we're gonna call that good with the red AB. All right, let's see if Nugget wants to wake up. Okay, I got him on a comfy bed in another room, so maybe he will be content for a little while. So the next AB is this green, this 122, and it is symbol number two, and this is a pretty chunky bag, so I imagine we're going to see quite a bit of this one. So the first place I can see is down here. This, I don't know if she is carrying a bunch of shells or if the shells make up the front of her dress. Either way, it's beautiful. But down here in the shells, we can see those twos. Also, we see some ones that I don't know if I pointed out to you before. <laughs> but here are some twos. We can also see the twos in these bubbles. And then traveling up, we can see... In her hair, we have some of them, quite a bit actually, a lot of that green AB through here. And did I miss any? Yup, sure did. There are lots in these fishies over here. I don't know if I pointed those out. Let's see, maybe we'll just go around and come back down. <laughs> I'll just keep traveling this way, but you can see those, those twos keep on going. They are all over. Very, very shiny. This piece is going to be, I think I showed you those already. Let's see. Let's move this way. More right there. Up here in the tail. And then the jellyfish legs are that green AB. That's gonna be so pretty. There's even some in the body of the jellyfish body. Is this, is this what, is that what you call that? I mean, I guess it is its body. I'm not sure if that's the correct term. Anyway, more of that too. And it's traveling on over to the tail area, all through here. Some little dots of it there, little bits of it in the head body of the jellyfish. And then in this section that is like very light green, I thought this was going to be like entirely AB because it just seemed like that was the right color for it. But there is some, but it's not entirely 
maybe. There's a good bit of it though. And then there's a couple of little dots over here. Little line traveling down there. Some in the tail. Very sparkly tail she's gonna have. A few over here in this corner. Just some little confetti pops there. Right through here. So much AB. It is just everywhere. So well dispersed. Through here. Let's see. And then down here. I'm sure that you guys are seeing so many that I'm missing. But there's just no way that I could show you all of these. There's some in this little section. Nice confetti pops through there. And moving on down a little bit here. Probably already showed you those. <laughs> and then these fish over here, there's tons of that AB. And then down here in these bubbles, some more little pops. And then this little section here looks like a good bit of that AB. And I think that's all for the green AB. And then the next one is the yellow. It's the 129 AB and it is symbol number three. This one is gonna follow a similar pattern. So instead of bringing the canvas to you this time, I'll just point a bit. So this little light yellow path up her arm here, that is the yellow AB. A little bit here in the shells in the top of her dress. A little bit more through the arm there. Little pops, little dots of it here and there. And then there is some in her hair. Not a ton, there's just some little accents of it. And then a little bit in these fishies over here. Not as much as we were seeing the green and the red, but still present. I'll go ahead and show you any that are on this side. Let's see. I see some right here. Doesn't seem to be as much on this side of the canvas. There's some in that jellyfish, some through the tail. This is a fairly small bag, so it's probably not going to be as hev heavy as the green was. There's some through here. And little bits here and there as we travel up. A few pops over there. And then a little bitty line in the tail. I don't see any over here. I may be missing it, but I don't see any. And I think that is all. Sorry, I have bumped you. So that means we are ready for our last AB, which is the 141, the white AB, also a chunky bag. So this one is everywhere, <laughs> just like the green. The first place that I see it is right here. There's a little bit here. I wouldn't say that every single color like every time you see white, I wouldn't say necessarily that that's the AB. It looks like there's some other very light colors that are not AB, but there is a lot in her hair. Let me bring it a little closer so I can kind of show you the difference. See, this is not the AB. This is, this seems like it's not quite white, or maybe it is. Let's see if, what symbol. What color is that? Oh, that's 819. So, no, I thought it was maybe 3865, but it's not. So we can see it's all in her hair, just all over. And this side as well, just traveling up. Let me lay this back down. 
There is a bit in these fishies over here. Still tons in the hair. Tons right here. Now this whole section here is a little block of AB. You can see those fours there, I think. As we move this way, there's some through there. Then another chunk through here and here. All of that is AB. Then up through here. And then a big section right there. And then a lot traveling up to that section. Now if we move over here, we missed quite a bit as I was traveling up. Oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at. There we go. There's nice sections there. Traveling up. And then I'm sure, yes, there's some in the tail. So this tail has every AB. And then the fours all the way over there. There is a little bit over here, just a few little pops of that four dispersed in that area. And right here. And down a bit, I may have already pointed that out. A lot of AB mixed in here and a bit in there. I think I may have found most of them. <laughs> I'm sure that I missed a few. There, there was a lot of that white and a lot of the green. But I am going to say I think that is all of the ABs. So the next thing I want to talk about is color blocking versus confetti. So in this piece, I think confetti wins. I think it's more of a confetti piece. But there are some blocks, if I can get it to come here. So you can see that W symbol, a nice block of that, this G. Nice blocks. I think you could use your multi-placer for that. So the background area, you could probably, you could have some blocks. There's some blocks. But up here, you know, there there are a good many color changes still in the background area. And there's a lot going on around our central focal point. There's a lot happening. So not as much opportunity for color blocking. This down here is not just one color. There's, there's several different colors mixed in there. But then we have some sections like this, where it's just a nice block of the G symbol, and this, this, I wouldn't call any of this right here confetti. But then, you know, her, her hair, there's a lot of busyness there, particularly these shells here. There, there's a lot going on in that area. And then all of these features that surround her, the fish, and then the jellyfish there's there's quite a bit going on lots of color changes now the tail has a little bit of blocking with that ab the white ab that we just looked at and a few other colors might be blocking for just a minute and then the tail of course is has got lots and lots of colors but it just it looks so fun and it looks so pretty i love the colors so much it's gonna work up so nicely. I could, I know that I said it was more confetti-ish, but I think that even if, you know, if you're mostly a color blocker, like if you love this one, you gotta get it. <laughs> Don't let me talk you out of it by saying that there's confetti in it. I think that will do it for me. So let me just remind you before I go that this is one of the Black Friday releases. So that's going to happen at 12 a.m. Pacific time for Diamond level members on Friday, November 25th. And then at 6 a.m. Pacific time, that will be the general access window.
So if you've got your eye on this, make sure you take note of those times and be ready. I'm so excited about all of these kits and the sale and all of the excitement surrounding it. It's a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time along with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.